Alors qu'est-ce qu'on fait de beau dans Drogen Dans Drogen, en fait, c'est un jeu d'aventure. Euh, qui frôle le point and click, on va dire, comme tous les jeux d'aventure. Qui va nous amener à explorer un petit endroit, un petit village perdu en Norvège, dans les années 1920. Il se trouve que dans ce village, il y a plusieurs familles qui ont étrangement disparu. Et euh, ces familles n'avaient pas que ça comme particularité, la disparition. Il y avait aussi des histoires de frangins frangines et puis de jumeaux. Et euh, apparemment, il y a eu des victimes. Puisque dans l'épisode précédent, vous avez pu voir qu'on a retrouvé quand même des indices un peu inquiétants à base de traces de sang et de falaises. Et aujourd'hui, on va regarder si on peut aller un petit peu plus loin. Si je me rappelle un petit peu de la structure de tout ce joyeux bordel. Pour essayer de dénouer ce plat de spaghettis un peu trop cuit. Action. Alors, une des autres particularités du jeu, c'est que je suis attiché d'un binôme qui peut s'avérer fort utile dans pas mal de situations. Que voilà. Penny for your thoughts? Perhaps uh, she fell by accident. So you don't think it was murder? It's difficult to say with any certainty. The boy could have pushed her. You're really not helping. Can we talk about this tomorrow? I'm sorry. You're exhausted. I buried a corpse today, Alice. I know. I'm sorry. Why don't you sleep in the guest bedroom? The couch is fine. The Fretlands could still come home. All right. Just don't come crying to me if you wake up with a crick in your neck. I'll be up for a while, if you feel like talking. Donc effectivement oui, euh, je confirme qu'il y a eu des choses glauques puisque le, la dernière scène qu'on a vue, euh, c'était euh, un gars retrouvé pendu, mais assez séché, hein, donc il n'était pas tout frais le gars, et, et c'est assez euh, perturbant on va dire. Je suis en train d'essayer de faire les réglages souris pour que ça vous file moins le mal de mer parce que euh, oui je bouge très vite sur cette machine et ça peut être ennuyeux. Je crois qu'on avait déjà lu cette note. Someone tried to burn this. It's addressed to Mrs. Fretland. My dearest Anna. It's from her sister Margaret, Frederick's wife. The, the two brothers married sisters, remember? Yes, and it's adorable. Keep reading. Ça c'est donc les histoires de jumeaux. I really shouldn't. Really? Are we going to figure out what happened? Okay. My dearest Anna, I miss you so very, very much. The baby is due soon, and I wish for our family to reunite before. Da, 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 da. It's been seven years since the dreadful incident at the mine. Can we not convince Frederick and Johan to forgive and forget? 
I know there are things Frederick has not told me about what they found and why they parted ways. Their grudge is tearing us all apart. Frederick won't even let me speak to half of our neighbors, accusing them of treason. Uh, he's so very angry and full of regrets. It's eating him up. And we... And we what? The rest is unreadable. Margaret reached out to her sister, but I guess it didn't work. This was written before Simon was born, but burned recently. Hop, on va essayer de se pioter puis on va voir euh, ce qui va se dérouler la, la journée suivante. Euh, je sais plus où est le canap. <rire> Sûrement pas là. Okay. Euh, J'ai une touche pour euh, cavaler. Celle-là, on l'a déjà lu. C'est celle qu'on a lue en arrivant. Tu vas me suivre de partout, petit scarabée Non, je vais pas me mettre à côté de la cheminée pour qu'on me raconte des histoires. On va juste se trouver le, 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 le canapé et faire un gros dodo. Là. Euh, je vérifie juste un truc. Donc, moi, je suis venu chercher ma frangine hein, à l'origine, je rappelle, qui a disparu, qui a plus donné de nouvelles pendant des semaines, voire des mois. Et je retrouve de ces affaires au fur et à mesure. What are you doing? Betty will want these back. I don't think it's healthy. Not now, to... please. I'm exhausted. On va se taper un petit roupillon la nuit porte conseil comme on dit. Quite the day, huh? I'm ready to pass out. Where will you sleep? Uh, I'll be up for a while. My mind's simply racing. Don't stay up late. Wake me if you hear the Fretlands arriving. And I'll keep my eyes open for any ghosts that might want to haunt you in your sleep. There are no... Hush now. Sleep. Alors, quel temps il fait aujourd'hui Ouf, ça a l'air un peu brumeux, non Maussade, on va dire. Euh, pas le temps pour aller faire un peu de gym. Oh, un jogging, ça va être trop fatigant. On va voir ce que suggère la miss. Where are you, Lucy Alors le jeu est assez marrant sur, euh, sur le fait qu'on ait un binôme comme ça, euh, ça peut servir pour des indices, j'espère que ça va servir pour d'autres choses que ce soit marrant, parce que pour l'instant c'est juste une aide, euh, une aide en personnage quoi. J'avais pas remarqué ce, cet endroit où on peut dessiner. Et je sais pas si le jeu nous invite à faire ça régulièrement. Si c'est des parties bonus qui peuvent se débloquer. Apparemment ça va durer 107 ans. Hop. 
de toute beauté. On y va. Alors, est-ce qu'il va y avoir un peu d'action aujourd'hui ah, Rien n'est moins sûr. Bon, il fait beau, c'est ce qui compte. This is her room. Hmm? Are you paying attention? Ruth. Can you imagine? One moment you're living a perfectly happy life, and then nothing. Darkness. Forever and ever. Maybe there's something here that can tell us what happened to her. This is a waste of my time. We might be the only ones left to tell her story, Edward. You're just being melodramatic. Il y a un truc qui est très très rigolo, c'est qu'on veut tenir les dialogues avec euh, son binôme. Euh, il faut bien la regarder à chaque fois, c'est assez marrant. She made her bed that morning. Before she... Before her parents did. It doesn't matter. Ruth was an artist. This is very primitive. Have you ever met a child, Edward? She wasn't Monet, she was eight. Ruth never finished this. What does that spell? F O R B. Banelson. The curse. What is that figure supposed to be? It's creepy. A figment of her imagination. But the box she drew. It looks like this box under her desk. Really? Let me see. Pull it out. La boîte à trésor. What is this? I believe this might qualify as actual treasure. Is that Norwegian money? Sort of, but ancient. Viking coins. Mm, la broche Are est assez récurrente apparemment. Not in terms of monetary value, but historically. Et oui, comme disait le Dr. Jones, leur like placer dans un musée. Her own private museum. Why would a child have these artifacts? She must have enjoyed collecting and playing with them. These are much too precious to play with. She should have given these to an adult. She's She was a child, Edward. To her, they were just shiny toys. Wait, the pin on the doll. This is where it came from, her collection. But where did she find these treasures? A dig, a, a gravesite. Wherever she found them, she wanted to keep them hidden. You think someone found out? These items wouldn't necessarily be worth much, except to a historian or archaeologist. What if this is how... I mean, if someone learned she'd been collecting treasures, they might be willing to do terrible things. Ça tient pas trop. Je vois plus trop de... <coughs> ah si, y'a ça. Et donc je disais... Grosse linéarité, c'est dommage. Bah, la trouvé la boîte qu'on a vue tout à l'heure. Alors, où pourrait être cette grotte Alors, je vous rappelle qu'il y a des mines. Pas des mines antipersonnelles. Des mines d'excavation, donc cette grotte me semble assez plausible. Euh, on peut pas y aller parce qu'il faut que je trouve une pince que je n'ai toujours pas d'ailleurs. Maybe Betty. Why would Betty ring the church bell? Perhaps she's in trouble. I need to get to the church right now. Isn't it more likely to be the person you saw the other night? I told you, I'm not sure that was anything. Come on. Go ahead. I'll catch up with you before you get
me remets en tête, en tête ce qu'il y avait. July 24th, memorial service. Commemoration of the accident at the mine this past summer. Ouais, voilà, encore une histoire sur la mine. Ah, oh, il y a des graves fraîches. Je n'ai pas touché ces depuis hier. Peu importe comment ils ont passé les boards, il y a quelque chose. Je suis fichant Dieu n'est pas ici. Bien sûr qu'il n'est pas. Tu ne trouveras pas Dieu dans une church. Dieu est le vent dans les trees, le grass entre tes toes. The brook that That's runs through. nature, not God. Who did this? Someone who'd lost their faith. Can you peek through the boards? I don't know my lunettes. It must be her ringing the bell. It must be Betty. We'll soon find out. See anyone? No. Listen, I... the bell. They're still in there. Hello? I heard the bell. This is giving me. I'm here to help. TVs. These boards look flimsy enough to break. This is Edward Harden. Uh, I'm looking for my sister, Stop Elizabeth. Stop shouting, Edward. We're alone. There are only ghosts here. There are no ghosts. I don't know about that. What's this rope for? The bell. Lissy, look. Betty's gloves. They are definitely Betty's. Oh, she got these me. in Boston before she left for New York. She bought them at Woolworth. I remember the day she... She's here. Where? And why would she leave her clothes lying around? It doesn't make Red sense. Gloves. She's sending me a message. She knew I'd recognize her gloves. Her hat. She's left a trail for me to follow, like Ariadne's red thread. We're not in the lab. Betty will have left more crumbs. Betty, 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 you're turning into such a pill. Here. The sign on the door. God is not here. Isn't this a fire hazard? They're not always lit. Each candle represents a single prayer. That's a lot of prayers. There were a lot of deaths. I've never seen you read the Bible before. I've read the Bible many times. It's an important historical document. For he is our peace who hath made both one and have broken down the middle wall of partition between us. Did you just translate that into Old English? I happen to know the verse by heart. Hmm. You still manage to surprise me sometimes. For he is our peace, who hath made both one, and hath broken down the middle wall of partition between us. D Jesus looks sad. What reason would Jesus well, have to be for well. Don't be blasphemous. Given that this is all fiction, blasphemy is a contradiction. Heretic. They considered this a sacred place. For them to destroy it. This was an act of desperation and anger. The church book, a record of births and deaths. So we can find out what happened to the people in the village? And, uh, Elizabeth. I mean, if she was dead... 
her name would be in the book. Vandals. Tore it to pieces. I don't think the missing pages left the church. Look. <laughs> How many pages are missing? I counted four. They're probably all still here. I know. Let's make it a competition. One nil to team me. I wanted you to find that one. I know what a rotten loser you are. What are you doing? Found another one. You get it. It's right here. Just one more page missing. Et la dernière, bien entendu, elle va être pénible à trouver. Sinon, aucun fun. <coughs> Désolé. What's that? The last sermon that was held here. What does it say? The vicar's handwriting is hard to decipher, and the language. Uh, hmm. He talks about the village being divided for 20 years. This sermon was held on the anniversary of the accident this past summer. He's asking the congregation to help heal old wounds, to forgive, move on. Something to the effect of... You sit in separate aisles in God's house. Like Ruth's drawing. I told you, she was perceptive. It sounds like Grovik was split in two. Between those who stood by Johan and those who supported Frederick. Because of Ruth? The sermons from before that. No, this is all about the preceding 20 years of division and disagreements. Here's something else. Many of you believe Grovik was cursed 20 years ago. God has not cursed you. This curse is of your own making. Ruth's drawing mentioned a curse. What do you think that means? It means they believed they were cursed, and that they needed something or someone to blame for their misfortune. Bon, on va faire court. Hein. La petite, c'était une sorcière, ils voulaient la brûler, mais le problème, c'est qu'ils n'avaient pas de feu, et donc ils ont voulu la balancer dans la flotte, mais le problème, c'est que dans l'eau, le, les sorcières flottent, c'est connu. Non, ça marche pas. Ok. Edward Forgive each other. It addresses Johan and Frederick directly. But I wonder if they were even here. Two for two. A tie. Good job, Teddy. Stop, Old Bean. Lucy. This is not a game. Betty's out there. Of horse feathers. Stop being so gosh darn for final dinner. The Last Supper. Who taught you about the New Testament? I pick up on things. Most folks aren't heathens, like you. Alors, si on s'occupait de ce bouquin. Euh, non, ça c'est pas celui-là. Zut, il est où le registre Là-bas. Et j'ai confondu. My bad. This book goes back years. It lists births and deaths. Here's the third Fretland brother. The one who died in the cave-in. Someone added the word for Banelson, probably quite recently. What does that mean again? Curse. That word is all over this book. Not just the men who died in the mine, but other deaths in the last 20 years. Ruth's drawing and the sermon both mentioned a curse. What do you think it means? I don't know. There were surprisingly few births. Perhaps they blame that on the curse as well. 
Uda. Look here. Ruth Elsa Fretland. She was buried in the cemetery. And the next entry, Simon Fretland. Now this is interesting. Simon is dead? Oh, that's dreadful. He drowned the day after Ruth died. Probably no coincidence. See what's scribbled next to it? Mord? Murder. Who killed him? Ruth's father? Or the mob that trashed the store? It doesn't say. After the children, a half dozen deaths in a single week. The curse. It's listed as the cause for every single death. Maybe there really was a curse. Primitive superstition. But something changed after Ruth and Simon. It might explain why there's no one around. Edward, if it killed everyone, how's that not a curse? What does that word say? Next to those names at the bottom. For... For a... Dark... Traitor. Edward? What's wrong? The final entry. There's... There's no name. Alice, what if... Oh, Edward, no. Betty. It doesn't mean she's... She's not dead. She can't be. I'd know. I'd know. Teddy. I need to see the grave for myself. It's not Betty. Betty's still alive. Teddy? Where are you going? Don't leave me! Edward! Where is it? You better not be here, Betty. I'll never forgive you. This one. It's... unmarked. What are you doing? Have you gone completely mad? Edward, stop it! Not Elizabeth. I, I was so afraid. You're a monster. But I had to be sure. If Betty. To hell with your Betty! When did she ever shed a tear for you? Don't talk about my baby sister. Or like what? That. Or what, Edward? What will you do? Ignore us? Banish us? You've spent your entire life chasing her. When are you going to do something useful with what's left of it? Uh, quiet! Just... leave me be! Fine. Lucy? Uh-oh. Alice? Come back! Don't leave me alone! Please! Come back! I... I need you. On va quand même pas laisser ça comme ça les gars. Tu, tu peux re... Non. Bah c'est pas très sympa quand même. Alors, est-ce que le jeu va se révéler Lucy Where are you Est-ce que le jeu va révéler sa vraie nature Oui. Parce que finalement notre protagoniste est peut-être un petit peu barré, il faut dire. Lucy. On n'a plus grand chose à faire ici en tout cas. Alice? 
va essayer de redescendre tout en bas au village, vers le port. Alors les gens qui ont joué à Ethan Carter <rire> vont rigoler un petit peu. Listen to me. I didn't mean what I said. I, I... Of course you did. Everything's always about Betty. Betty, Betty. I care about you both. Until it really matters. Then it's obvious you understand. I thought she was dead. I wish she was. Don't. Du coup, je l'ai paumé totalement. Pas grand chose à investir là-dedans. Ça, on l'a déjà lu. Si elle est remontée, non, probablement, oui. Please, talk to me. What's there to talk about? You can't keep running away from me. You think you own me? That you control me? That you get to decide how I feel and what I do every minute of every day? That I'm your puppet, your little plaything? Well, fuck you, Edward Charles Harden! I never should have come here with you on this... Pointless chase! Now, be reasonable. Lizzie? What are you doing? What I should have done years ago. Maybe now you'll learn to appreciate this. Now listen to me. Please, listen. Hear me out. Don't do this. You can't do this to me. I need you. I'm not whole without you. I, I can't lose you. I, I can't live without you. Don't, 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 please, don't, don't, no, 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 no! What? No! Oh, Alice. What have you done? Please be all right. Please don't. You make me sick, Edward. Your mother and father would be ashamed. Elizabeth would be ashamed. They did not think you deserved their love, so they abandoned you. Don't. Oh, my child. We are all that you have. And we love you. We are here. With us, you are never alone. Do not forget. No, I... Never. Never. Alors, j'aurais dû m'inquiéter de ce qu'il y avait dans la bouffe norvégienne. Parce qu'apparemment... <rire> Note pour demain, ne plus manger de Rollmops.
Wake up, Edward. Stop hiding. Without us, you are nothing. You cannot hide from us. Where's Lissy? Alice is not here. Bring her back. Please. I need her. Alice does not love Elizabeth like you do. She loves me. Not like I do, Edward. I'm so tired. Please. I think of you so often. You have no idea. You just want me to forgive you so that we can keep looking for your precious, perfect Betty. She needs us. <laughs> she never needed you, Teddy Bear. And she certainly doesn't need us. I can't find her on my own. It's just too bad, my darling Edward. Because we're done playing second fiddle to little sis. Wait, don't go. I, I, I'm talking to... To you. Lissy. Oh. Alors je sais pas si, 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 si <rire> notre héros se drogue lui aussi, mais euh, c'est mal barré pour lui. <rire> Allez, moi ça comme c'est bien rangé. C'est là qu'on se rend compte qu'on est dans un jeu, parce que vous connaissez beaucoup de personnes qui font des aménagements de valises comme ça. Ouais, pareil. <rire> so angry you do not know anger edward did you ever meet my father alice does not want to speak with you and what about you are you going to help me god helps those who help themselves i don't need god's help i need lissy do you though did you ever what of course i Don't go. Hear me out. Alice. I depend on you both. You can never depend on other people, Edward. I'm not sure you count as other people. Everyone leads one way or another. You don't. You can't. Is that a challenge? Stop playing games. Are you ordering me, teddy bear? I'm asking you. Didn't your father always tell you to stand up for yourself? To be a real man and not a sissy? Maybe that's why he put the gun to his head and pulled the trigger. Kaboom! He was so disappointed about what his only son had turned into. You're a monster. Takes one to know one. Old freak. Oh, ce petit jambon. Oh, je me serais bien fait un petit déj là avant d'y aller. Le jeu est horriblement linéaire et je pense que ça a beaucoup joué à. Ça a beaucoup joué sur le fait que beaucoup de gens n'ont pas tant accroché. 
parce qu'on est plus dans un film interactif que dans un jeu d'aventure quelque part. Cette grange, cette grange va bien finir par nous servir à quelque chose. Let's be reasonable. Lexi, I'm tired of chasing you. I'm trying to talk to you. Lexi, look. Her jacket. I'm sure it wasn't here yesterday, Jesus which means Christ, Betty was Teddy. here. Perhaps when we were out yesterday. Betty, she must Be have... Betty, 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 Betty. You love Betty more than you love us. But don't you see? What has Betty done that we haven't? What can she do that we cannot? We've always been there for you. Why do you keep looking for her? She's real. You're not. So? What? You decide what is real. We are real to you. We'll never be the same. She does not want you. Who are you talking about? Why do you think she <coughs> left? She was sick and tired of us. She wanted to escape. Like mother. Drowning herself because she couldn't stand being around us. Like father. Bang, right in the coconut. Stop. You drive them all away, Edward. All into death. Please. Not us. We're always here for you. I beg you. You are never alone. Stop! Leave me alone, both of you. You want to be alone? You really want to be alone? Fine. Be alone. Lissy. Come back, please. Lissy! 